As you guys can see from the title, I am on my way to my very first ever Pilates class. Yeah, but you guys know Pilates is like all the hype and all the trend right now. And I'm not going to lie, I've always wanted to try a different workout because I've been weight training and lifting for a long time now. I've obviously gone in waves of like being consistent, being inconsistent and stuff like that. And I've been pretty consistent this year. But yeah, I just feel like I'm kind of stuck in a rut with weightlifting and I don't know I just feel like it's very repetitive I feel like um, I'm not gonna say bored or tired of it because I'm always gonna love lifting weights but I just wanted to try something new something I've never done before get out of my comfort zone because this is like going to a small class and meeting other people and stuff like that and it's just a different type of movement that I've never done before so I know it's gonna be hard for my very first time like I'm honestly kind of I'm not nervous well no I am nervous but I'm also excited for it because like I said it's something totally different so this is your sign if you've been wanting to try it a workout class or just something different that you've never done before this is your sign to go do that I'm very I want to say introverted and very shy when I first meet people but I need get I need to get out of my comfort zone At the and next one, turn right thank you miss Siri um, I need to get out of my comfort zone and just do things like that and this is a good way to like meet people obviously that are doing the same hobbies that you are doing and you guys already have something in common to like talk about so yeah that is what I am currently doing it's 7 2 a.m. my class is at 7 30 and the email said to get there like five minutes before but I'm gonna arrive like 15 minutes before so that'll give me time to sit in my car get myself together drink some water put some chopstick on because I need to do that I will get back to you guys once I am out of my class let you know how it went my thoughts if I'm gonna take another class and yeah spend the day with me you guys class a little bit ago I just picked up my coffee oh my god you guys I'm so proud of myself sorry if I look freaking musty right now but I'm so proud of myself for getting out of my comfort zone and trying something new because I'm just like I said very introverted and like I guess I've grown out of like being super shy but of course like meeting new people can be intimidating or like shy or um, nerve-wracking and I'm just proud of myself for taking that step and doing that and like meeting people and stuff like that and yeah I had a really good workout the class was fun it was hard but not like whoa I freaking hate this kind of hard like it was a good challenging workout and the instructor was very nice she taught very well I've never done Pilates before so I don't know how Pilates is supposed to be taught or how other instructs instructors teach but yeah, I like the class. I will for sure be going back. And I told myself, I was like, if I like the class, I think I'm going to change my workout split from like five days of weight training to three days of weight training and two days of Pilates a week. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try that and just see how my body changes, how my body feels, adapts and all that stuff. So yeah, just switching it up from the same old, same old routine that I've had for a while now. But Oh my god you guys this coffee is so good but again like i said earlier you guys if you're looking to try something new but you've been nervous or scared or like don't like getting out of your comfort zone this is your sign to do it because you never know you might fall in love with something new that you've never tried before and honestly just go for it just do it because why not it's now 11 a.m so time is going by fast today i showered already I'm just gonna get myself ready 
for the day. I'm gonna do my makeup and my to-do list for today. So every day, like I do to-dos for today or today's goals and then I write down the goals. And then always at the bottom part, I write whatever workout I'm doing just to hold myself accountable and just, you know, to write anything down that I need to remember. But for today, I put that I had my Pilates class. I wanted to film a vlog. I'm getting ready because I want to shoot some IG content today. I've been trying to be more active and post more on there. And I'm not like trying to like grow my Instagram account and like make it like if it grows, it's cool. But I'm just posting like because I thoroughly enjoy shooting content and like getting dressed up, taking pictures and the whole process of it. Um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll have it linked down below. And I'm going through like a weird name change on Instagram right now too. So I had it under paularubi.cv and then I switched it to my old name, which was PRCVXO, which were just my initials with XO. And long story short, I switched it back to that, but then I didn't like it. So I have to wait like two weeks until I can switch it back to the paularubi.cv. So yeah. Anyways, follow me if you don't follow me. And I also want to organize my Pinterest account. On Pinterest, I don't know if you guys know, but you can like within a folder, like a pin folder, you can do other like subcategories in that folder. So I wanna organize my food pin or my food folder and like do breakfast, lunch, and dinners. So it's more like organized in there. And like when I go back into the food folder, I can either click on any of those cate categories and just have those types of meals on there versus like having to scroll through. I have my um, home section categorized like that. So it's like home and then under the home I have like bathroom, bedroom, living room, kitchen, stuff like that. It just makes it easier. So I want to take some time and do that. I'm going to start getting ready. I feel like I'm hitting a wall or like I'm crashing a little bit, just like lacking energy or something. I don't know. I am ready now. Obviously, I look way different, cuter. <laughs> and also, um, if you guys notice, I changed my frames. I've had these for a long time. I got my clear ones and these ones together. I just like to wear the clear ones better. I prefer those. But the other day I found these and I was like, you know what, let's switch it up. And I've been vibing with them. I feel like they make me look more like, I don't know, like a teacher or something. But my mood is just like, I'm trying to not think about it, but I feel tired. Like I just want to take a nap, but I'm not going to do that. It's going to be 1 p.m. already and I feel like time is literally flying by. So I need to get my stuff done. <sighs> And I was trying to beat the heat, but ugh, it's going to be the hottest when I go out right now to shoot content. I think I want to shoot either two or three different outfits just to get that out of the way and have enough content for the rest of the week. But just having to like change in my car, or change like out in public, obviously not like in public, but like in a public, public restroom or something. It's kind of annoying. So I'm just going to put some outfits together. Okay, so for the first outfit, I'm thinking this little top right here. I haven't worn it and I've had it for a few months now so maybe like a month actually I don't know so I want to wear that and I'm thinking these jeans right here and I'm thinking with my Air Forces Oliver come here buddy and then this next outfit so I think I want to wear these shorts with this top I've only worn this top once but I wore it in the winter and I had like a long sleeve under and I can definitely wear it right now in the summer more of like a preppy look i guess you could say okay i ended up actually scratching out the outfit with the black shorts i didn't like how it looked together but i came up with this super like simple black tube top it has these little scrunchies on the side I honestly don't remember where this is from i've had it for a while now like a long while and then my jeans um i wear these often these are from target and i think i'm gonna pair it with these black Pumas, black and white Pumas. I just like how it has the black detailing to go with the top. This is the next outfit. Honestly, again, very simple, casual, but this shirt is fun because it has like a pattern with different colors. And then these jeans are from Fashion Nova. And honestly, I don't wear them enough and they're very like stretchy and comfortable. I just don't know if I want to wear these with sneakers or sandals. And then I think I'm just going to do these two outfits. Okay, now that I decided on the outfits, I think for this top, I want to put my hair up and then it's just going to be easy to put my hair down after afterward versus trying to put my hair up for this outfit. Yeah, I think this is going to be way cuter with this. So I have it since this 
top is like open in the back i think it's gonna be like cuter to show that and honestly normally i don't really plan like my outfits ahead i probably should start doing that because it'll save me time just like throw something on and i'm like all right let's go take a picture We're out shooting content already and I didn't show you guys the like first outfit or first location but we're actually driving back to that location just because this place that we came to didn't really have any like cute spots to take pictures at. You guys it's so freaking hot. It's like 91 degrees outside but it feels like way like hotter and it's humid so we're trying to get this done fast and like having to change in a car and all this stuff is not it but I'll show you guys a little bit of here. Yeah. This right here is like the location that I like coming to to take pictures. This is one of them. The other one is like closer to where I live. But these buildings over here are like super cute and like they're white and neutral and like very aesthetic looking. So um, yeah, I like coming to this little town. All right, y'all. It is a lot later now. It is 6 p.m. and Honestly, since I got home, I've just been like chilling, watching TV. I've been watching Handmaid's Tale because a new season comes out in September, I believe. And I watched the whole series already, but it was like over a year ago. So I don't re remember too much details. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to restart it. And yeah, that's what I was watching for the last couple hours. But now I'm actually going to bake a banana bread carrot cake. Like mixture combined. I've made banana bread by itself and I've made carrot cake by itself but i've never made the mixture together i'm actually going to try the recipe for the very first time today and i have all the ingredients laid out i'll show them to you guys and then i'll link the recipe below that i'm going to be using but i'm actually going to make this before i make dinner just because i don't want to make dinner yet um until a little bit later so yeah let me just show you guys what the ingredients are so this is everything that i'm going to be using i know it looks like a lot but a lot of it is stuff that you already have in like your fridge or your pantry right banana butter brown sugar flour regular sugar eggs and then carrot shreds salt walnuts um the recipe asks for sour cream and then this is going to be for like the cream cheese frosting on top so just baking soda or the baking soda is probably gonna be for this but milk um what is this powdered sugar cream cheese and vanilla extract Alright y'all, here is what the bread looks like. It honestly honestly smells so good. I haven't tried it yet or anything, so I'm just going to take like a little bite from the top. Oh yeah, it's really good. I've been letting it cool down for a while now, and then I have the frosting right here, so I'm just going to layer it. And I don't have like a pretty pan, or not pan, or um... What do you call it? Oh my god, what do you call it? Like the things where you display your pastries or whatever. I don't know. 
but I'm just gonna layer this all over the top. Y'all, my boyfriend has the best girlfriend because I'm lit. Oh, yeah, I'm a little drip. Ooh, yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> um, I was saying my boyfriend has the best girlfriend because I literally have been cooking for like the last two hours probably like non-stop after I finished baking I ended up just making dinner so I think I'm gonna like let that sit and kind of like harden and then I'm gonna add the last layer on top but y'all this is looking bomb I'm not gonna have a piece of it until I have my dinner I need to have my dinner first but I'm just gonna eat or I'm making some chicken tostadas or tostadas de pollo chicken tostadas whatever you want to call it something quick and easy so i just boiled and shredded some chicken and then leche chile tomate y cebolla some pepper some a little bit of garlic salt a little bit of chicken bouillon and then just kind of mix it all up in there and then don't judge me but i don't know how to make beans so <laughs> homegirl rosarita right here is gonna have to do so i'm just gonna layer the tostada beans chicken and then obviously add some toppings i'll show you guys right now what it looks like but yeah i've been cooking for what feels like forever and honestly i'm ready to sit the hell down and eat but i'm waiting oh my god i was literally gonna say i'm waiting for my boyfriend to get home and he's literally getting home so i'll talk to you guys right now this is dinner honestly if i do say so myself it kind of popped off but i made fresh salsa Topped it with some mea crema, some cotija, and then just a little bit of fresh um, tomato, onion, and then some lettuce on top. But yeah, this looks bomb. I think we should do a first bite together. Mm hmm. I'm gonna finish my dinner and I'll catch up with you after and we'll do like a full taste test of the carrot cake banana bread banana bread carrot cake whatever it's called together because I know it's gonna be delicious my lips look crazy but y'all this is your sign to clean your kitchen after you're done cooking your dinner at the end of the night because tomorrow morning you will be proud of yourself you will be thanking yourself and you will be glad that you have a clean kitchen no matter how bad you don't want to do it because trust me i did not want to clean the kitchen like i want to get out of here i'm done with the kitchen i've been in here long enough but i will thank myself tomorrow for doing this literally i was like thinking of just throwing all the dishes like in the sink and just leaving them but i was like no just throw them in the dishwasher my boyfriend actually helped me with that part but <sighs> wiped the counters put all the leftovers away swept because there was a lot of stuff on the ground and yeah i'm ready to kind of just wind down relax i still haven't had my dessert because i'm waiting for my food to go down a little bit but i want to show you guys something that i picked up the other day at five below and i feel like it's such a nice little self-care thing that i got and it was only five dollars so if you have a five below near you you're gonna need this this right here is such a nice cute little journal i guess you can say and they had like a handful of different options with like different prints and stuff like that and then the inside of them they had like different prompts and different things that you could write in but this is just kind of like a gratitude journal i would say i haven't been super consistent with it but i'm trying to be like on a daily basis and i just thought it was super cute super aesthetic the front says simply grateful it has a category that says or like a a section that says i am fortunate because today i'm grateful for i will choose kindness by and then highlight of my day and then it has like this section where it says express joy and i'm guessing that's like so you can maybe draw on there or something i don't know and then something i'm looking forward to tomorrow and then up here it just says date and then whatever day it is and this is just like such a good way to practice self-care and just being thankful and grateful for your days and even like the little things that happen in your days like Today I went to Pilates for the first time. I'm very grateful that I was able to do that. I'm very proud of myself that I was able to do that. So I'm definitely going to write that in here. Also, I'm fortunate because I was able to make tonight's dinner. Little things like that that like 
you wouldn't think to be like grateful or thankful for on a daily basis yeah i just think it's such a nice little way to kind of wind down at night and just let your like i said thoughts and feelings and gratitude out on paper so yeah i think you guys should go to five below check them out see if they still have these and then for my to-do list for today there's only one thing that i did not mark off which was organize my pinterest i filmed my blog i shot ig content so i'm crossing that out and whenever i don't like cross everything off i'll just add it to the next day i'm gonna attempt to do that tomorrow so hopefully i make time for that i'm gonna go take off my makeup do my skincare routine not brush my teeth yet because I'm still gonna get some of that bread and I'm actually gonna write in this before I do any of that. Uh, I am tired, you guys. I hope you guys can see me, but <clears throat> we're gonna try this delicious looking cake. Uh huh. I can see the carrot in there. It's weird. I fuck with it. I approve of this recipe, you guys. Like I said, I'll leave it linked below. So you can try it yourself if you want. Okay, you guys. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for spending the day with me. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you guys do subscribe to my channel. And I always leave my social media down below. So if you guys want to follow me on there. And I will see you all next time.